I'm Miranda Kahn with your Newsmax Now update. The nation's top archivist says the IRS did not follow the law when it failed to report the loss of emails. David Ferrero told Congress that federal agencies are required to notify the National Archives and Records Administration when they realize they have a problem. The IRS claims Lois Lerner's hard drive crashed and resulted in the loss of emails that Congress requested. Republicans question the timing of that hard drive crash. While Ferrero wouldn't say the IRS broke the law, he did say it failed to follow it. The IRS says it's investigating those lost emails. Also testifying on Capitol Hill today is White House official Jennifer O'Connor. Congress issued a subpoena for O'Connor after the White House refused to let her speak about the IRS email scandal. Utah Republican Jason Chavitz asked O'Connor who she interacted with during her six months at the IRS. O'Connor said she didn't remember. Congressman Issa didn't appear to be surprised by her response. Last night, the commissioner could not remember 60 days ago who told him about the importance of losing those documents. Last night, he could not narrow 60 days, less than 60 days ago, within 30 days when he was told. I think that, uh, in fact, the uh, ability to remember at the IRS is simply limited. And Congress is still struggling to get answers out of Jennifer O'Connor, who says she only learned about the lost emails two weeks ago. But we now know, thanks to the nation's top archivist, that the IRS did not follow the law. And earlier today, Secretary of State John Kerry met with Kurdish President Mahmoud Barzani. Kerry met with the Kurdish president while in Iraq, trying to convince its leaders that an overhaul of the Shia-led government is the best way to tackle the Sunni insurgency. Kerry hopes that support from Barzani will put pressure on Prime Minister al-Maliki to hand over more power to Iraq's Sunni and Kurdish minorities. However, some believe President Barzani will seek full independence from Iraq. And that's a look at your latest headlines. We have more coming your way in about 30 minutes. Now back to The Malzberg Show.